Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Twisted Cable Christmas Stocking, which you can see here in the photo in front of you. Also, if you head on over to my blog, you'll find many other uh, photos of this pattern as well as the free written crochet pattern over on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and I'll have the direct link for this pattern in the description of this video along with, in, with information about my crochet hook and the yarn I'll be using today. So this is the Twisted Cable Christmas Stocking. I'll show you my finished one here. This is it. I'll just pull back so we can see more of it in the camera. This is a highly textured uh, Christmas stocking featuring some beautiful cabling throughout the body of the sock. And then it's offset with this simple single crochet cuff, heel, and toe. This pattern is classified as an intermediate pattern because of these cable stitches, but don't let that intimidate you. There's lots of help between the written pattern and this video. The pattern is worked from the toe of the sock up through to the cuff and it is all worked as one piece except for the hanger you'll attach that at the end. For this pattern I'm using a worsted weight yarn and this is the Karen one pound yarn by Yarnspirations. You're going to need about 270 yards per it's a Christmas stocking. I'm also using a six millimeter crochet hook and you're also going to need a stitch marker. So I'm excited that you are here. While you're here don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Let's uh, grab our hooks and our yarn and let's crochet our twisted cable Christmas stocking together. Our pattern today is worked in rounds and we will be starting at the toe and both the toe and the cuff of the sock are worked in continuous rounds so at this time you're going to want to keep your stitch marker handy. The first thing we're going to do uh, for this pattern is make your slip knot and then chain two. Next, we're going to work for our round one. We're going to work five single crochet stitches into the second chain from our hook. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now, as we are working in continuous rounds, we are not going to join. Instead, we're going to start our second round right into that first stitch. For round two, you're going to work two single crochet stitches into each stitch all the way around. So work that first stitch, place your stitch marker, and you're going to want your, to move your stitch marker always in that first stitch as your work progresses. So there's stitch one and two two stitches in each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round you're going to have a total of 10 single crochet stitches. For round two, or sorry, round three you're going to work one single crochet into the next stitch. Remember to put your stitch marker back on and then two single crochets into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. One single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochets into the next. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 15 stitches. For 
for round four, you're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches, and then two single crochets into the next. Repeat that all the way around, one single crochet into each of the next two stitches, and two single crochet into the next. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 20 stitches. For round five, you're going to work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches, and then two single crochet stitches into the next. Repeat that all the way around, one single crochet into each of the next three stitches, and two single crochets into the next. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 25 stitches. For round six, you're going to work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. There's two three, and four, and then two single crochet stitches into the next. Repeat that all the way around. One single crochet into each of the next four stitches, and then two single crochets into the next. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 30 stitches. For round seven, you're going to work one single crochet into each of the next five stitches, and two single crochets into the next. You're going to repeat that one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. and two single crochet into the next. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 35 single crochet stitches. For round eight, you're going to work one single crochet stitch into each of the next six stitches. and two stitches, single crochet stitches, into the next. Repeat that all the way around, one single crochet into each of the next six stitches, and two single crochets into the next. At the end of this round, you will have a total of 40 stitches. For round nine, you're going to work one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches, and two single crochets into the next. Repeat that all the way around one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches, mm -hmm. 
and two single crochet stitches into the next. At the end of this round you're going to have a total of 45 single crochet stitches. For round 10, you're going to work one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. And two single crochet stitches into the next. Repeat that all the way around. One single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. And two single crochet stitches into the next. At the end of this round you will have a total of 50 single crochet stitches. For round 11, you're just going to simply single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to the end of this round, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. So at the end of this round, you will still have 50 single crochet stitches. So I am at the end of my round 11. You can remove your stitch marker, set it aside at this point for a little bit, and then just join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round 12, we're going to begin by chaining 3, and this will count as a double crochet stitch. Next, work 1 double crochet stitch into each stitch all the way around. So skip that same stitch as joining, but work 1 double crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this you're going to want to have a total of 50 double crochet stitches which includes your chain 3 because your chain 3 counts as a stitch. So work one double crochet all the way around. Uh, when you come back to the beginning join uh, with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain 3. So at the end of round 12, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that chain 3. This is what your work should look like thus far. And you've now completed your toe. For round 13, we're going to start working some of the textured cable stitches and the cables are worked in between simple post stitches. So the first thing you're going to do for your round 13 is chain 1. Then around the post of the chain 3 below, so the same chain 3 that you joined in, you're going to work a front post double crochet. To work your front post double crochet you're going to yarn over Bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post, working from right through to left, around the post of that chain 3. Yarn over, bring a loop through, yarn over, pull through 2 loops, yarn over, and pull through 2 more. That's your front post double crochet stitch. You're then going to skip the next two stitches. So one, two. Skip those two stitches for now. We're going to come back to them. 
Next, work an extended front post double crochet stitch in each of the next two stitches. So you've skipped two, and then around each of these next two stitches around the post, we're going to work extended front post double crochets. To work your extended front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook around the post of that next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through one loop. So you'll still have three loops on your hook. Now complete the stitch by yarning over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. You're going to do that around the next stitch again. So yarn over, insert your hook around the next stitch, of the post, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two more. So you should have two extended front post double crochets worked kind of crossed over top of the two that you skipped. We're now going to pull those forward and we're now going to go back and work into those two stitches that we skipped over. So into the first stitch that we skipped, we're going to work a double crochet stitch. So just bring your hook back, pull those extended front posts forward, insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, and complete your double crochet stitch. These aren't front posts, they're just regular double crochet stitches. Once you've worked one into that first stitch that you skipped, work a double crochet stitch into the next one that you skipped. Now when you pull your work back, you will have two double crochets worked in behind and you will have two extended worked over the front. Next, into the next stitch, unworked stitch, you're going to work a front post double crochet stitch. Like so. That completes the cable. So we're going to continue to repeat this sequence all the way around. So next you've worked that front post double crochet, you're going to skip the next two stitches Around each of the posts of the next two, you're going to work extended front post double crochet stitches. So extended front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. Now working in behind those extended stitches into the tops of the stitches you just skipped, work a double crochet in each, starting with the one that you skipped first. So just one double crochet and two double crochet. Now into the next unworked stitch, work a front post double crochet. Now repeat, skip the next two stitches, extended front post double crochet around each of the next two Now working in behind those stitches just made, double crochet into each of the skipped stitches. Now front post double crochet into the next, or around the post of the next unworked stitch. So repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. So I'm just finishing my first, my last cable here of my round 13, working those two double crochets in behind. And then I'm back at my first stitch, which is a front post double crochet. So I'm simply going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. 
You should now have your cables and front post stitches worked all the way around. Now for the next nine rounds, so through to round uh, 22, you are going to simply repeat what you just, uh, the round that you just worked. So chain one, work a front post double crochet around that first stitch and now begin to work your cables. Now here it does get a little bit tricky because you have these stitches crossed over one another so it's important that you keep your stitches in order. So you're going to begin by working your first extended, skip the next two stitches, your extended front post down below and then into those double crochet stitches up top work your uh, extended front post double crochets one in each. So there's one and then two. Now once again working in behind work your double crochet stitches one into each of the skipped stitches. Now into the next unworked stitch work a front post double crochet stitch. So you'll have uh, this fairly well memorized by now so you're just going to continue ex skip the next two stitches work one extended front post double crochet in each then working in behind one double crochet into each of the skipped stitches keep losing my stitch there we go and then a front post double crochet worked around the next so continue to repeat that all the way around join with your slip stitch in that first stitch and you're going to do that for a total of nine more rounds so through to round 22 an easy way to keep track is just simply count these cross um, cross double crochet pairs uh, all the way up. So you're going to have t uh, 10 of these in total. Okay, so go ahead, work those nine rounds, and then meet me back here. Once you have completed round 22, your work should look like this from beginning to end. You'll have your toe and then your 10 rounds of cable stitches. You are now ready to begin to crochet the heel of your sock and your heel is worked in rows. The first thing you're going to do is fasten off from the foot. You're then going to count three stitches to the right. So one, two, three. And in this third stitch, join your yarn with a slip stitch. We can go back and weave in your ends uh, either now or uh, later on. For the first row of your heel, the heel is worked in rows, you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, then work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. So there's one, two is your joining spot there, and three. Finally, for this row, you're going to slip stitch into your final stitch. Next, turn your work. You're going to leave the remaining stitches unworked. For row two, you're going to skip that first slip stitch and slip stitch into 
the next stitch. Next, single crochet into each of the next five stitches. So single crochet in one, two, and three. Then jump down and uh, you're going to kind of jump down into uh, the stitch where you joined there and work the fourth single crochet and then five into the next stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch and turn your work. Row three. Skip the first slip stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. There's one, two, three, four, and five should be your slip stitch. Jump down and into that stitch uh, where you're joining there. Work your sixth stitch and then seven into the next stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch and turn your work. Row four. Skip the first stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, and single crochet into each of the next nine stitches. You will notice that you are increasing each row by two. There's seven. Jump down, eight and nine. Slip stitch into the next stitch, and that brings you to the end of your row four. For row five, you're going to turn your work, skip the first stitch, slip, slip stitch into the next stitch, single crochet into each of the next 11 stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, and nine. Jump down, 10, 11, slip stitch into the next stitch and turn your work. For row six, you're going to skip that first stitch, slip stitch into the next, a single crochet into each of the next 13 stitches, Jump down for stitch number 12, 13, and slip stitch into the next stitch. Turn your work. For row 7, you're going to skip the first stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch, and single crochet into each of the next 15 stitches.
jump down for stitch 14 and then 15 slip stitch into the next stitch and that brings you to the end of your row 7 before I begin row 8 I'll just show you what your work should look like here so this is it laid flat when you take your sock and kind of fold it over you should start to see your heel forming here okay so we're now going to begin row 8 we're going to turn our work skip that first stitch slip stitch into the next stitch and now single crochet into each of the next 17 stitches jump down there for stitch 16 17 slip stitch into that final stitch and turn your work for row 9 we're going to skip the first stitch slip stitch into the next stitch and you'll have guessed it by now we're going to single crochet into each of the next 19 stitches slip stitch into the next stitch and turn your work for row 10 skip the first stitch slip stitch into the next stitch single crochet into each of the next 21 stitches that brings you to the end of row 10 and we only have two uh, rows left here in our heel shaping for row 11 you're going to turn your work skip the first stitch slip stitch into the next stitch single crochet into each of the next 23 stitches There's 21, jump down 
jump down for 22 and 23 and slip stitch into the next stitch. Turn your work. You're going to work your final row here now. Skip the first stitch, row 12, single crochet into each of the next 25 stitches. Sorry, it should be skip that first stitch and then slip stitch into the next. And then single crochet into each of the next 25 stitches. slip stitch into the final stitch and that brings you to the end of your row 12. At the end of row 12 you're going to chain one and turn your work. You've now completed the heel and we're going to start working up the ankle and the leg of our sock. So now we are going to begin once again working in rounds and we want to pick up uh, this cable pattern again. So the first thing we're going to do for this round one is looking at the stitch two rows below. You have a front post double crochet. You're going to work a front post double crochet stitch around the post of that stitch two rows below. Next you're going to work one double crochet stitch in each of the next 25 stitches. So you're not working in that stitch uh, up top there, you're working into the next stitch. You want to work 25 double crochet stitches all the way across your heel. Once you have worked your 25 double crochet stitches, you're going to have one uh, slip stitch here as well as the stitch down below in joining left over. You're going to skip those two stitches and we're now going to pick up our cable stitch. So start by working your extended front post double crochet stitch around each of the next two stitches. You've skipped the last two single crochet and slip stitch there. So there's one extended front post and two extended front post double crochet stitches. Now working in behind, you're going to double crochet into each of those skip stitches. So double crochet into that slip stitch and then double crochet into the stitch down below there, uh, the same one that you joined that slip stitch in earlier like so. Next you're going to work a front post double crochet stitch around the next front post double crochet. You're now going to continue working the pattern uh, that you had been working in the foot. So your two, skip the next two stitches, two, one extended front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches then working in behind, work a double crochet in each of the skip stitches just as you did before in the foot. And 
and then front post double crochet around the next stitch. So you're going to repeat that all the way across to your first front post double crochet where you will join with a slip stitch in the top. So I'm now joining in the top of my front post double crochet stitch around my end of my round one like so. So I have my regular double crochets back here on the heel and when I look at the front I see my cables across the front. So now for our round two you're going to chain one front post double crochet around that first stitch and very much like the way you worked that first row of cables down below we're going to work across the heel. So skip the next two stitches, extended front post double crochet around the next stitch and extended front post double crochet around the next. Pull your stitches forward and double crochet in each of the skipped stitches. In the next unworked stitch, front post double crochet. Continue that all the way across your heel and then once you get across your heel you're going to continue your cables uh, working over top of the cables down below just as you did for the foot. Uh, continue that all the way around then join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. Now I've just worked my quick cables across the back of my heel and I just wanted to show you in your final stitch here of your heel, your final double crochet, you're working your front post double crochet around that stitch. And then at that point you'll just continue working your cables as you did before. At the end of round 16, you're going to have your Christmas stocking that will look similar to this one from the heel upward. So you're going to have a total from your heel, a total of 15 rounds of cable stitches. You're now then ready to start the top part of the cuff of your sock. And this part of the sock, oh here, I'm just going to join actually at the end of my round 16 here with a slip stitch. So the final cuff of your sock is very simple and I worked it in a simple solid stitch to match the heel and the toe and really offset these cables. So you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work and this is because the cuff is going to be turned down so I liked uh, the front having the front of the stick the stitches facing outward you're basically going to single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around and you're going to work continuous rounds so do not join at the end of each round and you're going to work a total of 10 rounds of single crochet stitches. So you'll want to pull your stitch marker out, mark that first stitch, it's not as imperative for this round but uh, it will be for the rounds after so keep moving your stitch marker up as your work progresses and simply work 10 rounds of single crochet stitches. After your 10 rounds you can then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, fasten off and weave in your ends and then you can meet me back here and I will show you how to make a quick hanger for your Christmas stocking.
Once you have finished your 10 rounds of single crochet stitches, you're going to join with slip stitch into that first stitch. And at this time, you can finally fasten off your work and weave in your ends. So you should have the top part of your cuff done. You can then turn it over so it is going to come down over the top of your sock, just like so. I'll pull back here a little bit so you can see it a little bit better, just like that. You're then going to uh, want to make a hanger so that you can hang up your Christmas sock. So the first thing you're going to do for your hanger is just to fold your cuff down like so and find the back center of your stocking. So fold your stocking over, make sure you can easily find the back center there. You're then going to take your yarn and hook and just insert your hook through a little bit of the stitches there and pull through. You're going to then want to join with a slip stitch and maybe pull both of those through just so you can make it a little bit tighter there. Uh, once you're done you're going to want to make sure that you secure that end uh, quite well and uh, weave it in. You're then going to chain 10 Once you have chained 10, you're going to go back into your work, into the same place where you attached it the first time, and join once again into your work with a slip stitch. Chain 1 once again. We're now going to work slip stitches back along that chain. So I'm just going to turn my sock here so it's on a different side. So now working along your chain, slip stitch into each chain all the way across. Now this first one is a little bit tighter. There we go. So slip stitch in each chain. I like to slip stitch into the back bumps. But you're just going to go all the way across. is going to make a nice thick cord for hanging your stocking up. Once you come back all the way across, join once again with a slip stitch. You can join in the same place or a different place. Just join with a slip stitch and fasten off. Now you can go ahead and weave in those ends. You should have a nice hanger here at the top of your stocking so that you can hang your stocking up by the fireplace or wherever you hang your stockings uh, for the holidays. And that's all there is to crocheting this twisted cable Christmas stocking. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, be sure to check back each week. This channel is updated weekly with crochet patterns such as this as well as stitch tutorials. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, share your photos with me by uh, tagging Rich Textures Crochet across social media. So thank you so much and uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Happy holidays and happy crocheting. Bye.